Good morning and welcome back. We made it to the middle of the week and unfortunately it is going to be a cold start to the day. Here's a look at the current temperatures around the area in the single digits for most locations. Great Falls 11 degrees, but when you factor in the wind temperatures much cooler. Let's look at eastern Montana. Glasgow 8 below zero. Our friends along the high line 0 degree and uh, Great Falls feels as if it's 1 degrees and around the capital it feels as if it's 7 degrees. Now we do have a wind chill advisory for very cold cold wind chills. Wind chill can drop down to 30 below zero. Frostbite can occur within 30 minutes, so you do not want to exert yourself outside, especially if you're in northeast Montana. Here's a look at some locations. Cold temperatures in Freud, 23 below zero, and we do have a dense fog advisory issue for portions of north central Montana that will continue until 9 a.m. If you have to travel through the morning hours in that area, here are some fog safety tips. You want to reduce speed and beware of animals. Drive with your low beams and use fog light. Use windshield wipers and defrosters. Turn off your cruise control and increase your following distance from others. We do have a winter weather advisory go that will go into effect at 2 p.m. today and will continue until Thursday night for snow and also wind. In the lower elevations, they can get up to five inches. The higher elevations up to 12 inches or more and the wind will be gusting up to 40 miles per hour at times. Let's take a look. We'll have partly cloudy skies. Clouds will start to build. We'll have a system that brings some light snow showers to portions of northwest Montana. As of yesterday, our friends in Great Falls got 1.5 inches of snowfall. Most of the snow that's really going to cause some impact will be in southwest Montana. The mountains will pick up a few inches and that system will continue Wednesday into Thursday into Friday morning for our friends in southwest Montana. Let's take a look at exactly how much snow will accumulate by Thursday morning. So Kalispell and Missoula can see an inch of snowfall. Our friends in West Yellowstone, three to six inches right on that Idaho border. If you have to travel across the Manita Pass, please give yourself enough time to leave because the road conditions will be extremely poor. Here's a look at today's temperatures in the 30s. You do have colder temperatures. It's trending right on the high line. 26 degrees, partly cloudy skies as the day goes on. We'll get an increase in cloud cover and let's take a look at tomorrow back to the 40s. We're in January. We're trending in the 40s. Most locations will trend in the 40s. Jordan and Roundup 46 degrees around Helena 40 degrees. Our friends in northwest Montana and the mid to upper 30s. Let's take a look at Thursday. We'll have over excuse me. We'll have mostly cloudy skies, snow showers that will continue in west just areas west of the divide. They'll have mixed rain snow that will start first and then that rain will transition into snow as the day plays on. The next chance that our area will get some snow is on Friday, Friday night going into Saturday. Friday's temperatures in the 30s, some locations in the 40s. Again, Friday night is when the best chance we'll see precipitation. Friday will have overcast skies. System will move in late Friday and will continue through Saturday morning. Saturday and Sunday will have a little bit more breeze, and that is basically the weekend. Breezy with above average temperatures. If you're just tuning in, you can go onto our KTVH Facebook page and submit your response. I'll have the answer at the end of the show. If you're going out, you probably still need a jacket today. Partly cloudy skies tomorrow, mostly cloudy, 40 degrees. Friday night into Saturday is our best chance to see some snow showers. Back to you, Jessica.